I can sympathize for everyone out there just starting to dip their toes into fashion nowadays because as exciting and diverse the kind of fashion space is becoming, can you just imagine being a kid coming up in these times? You, you calm down, down partner. Why are you on your knees? Get down, boy. Get down. <laughs> Running off the Jorts and Adidas Samba Euphoria from 2023, did we get any new interesting plays in the game for 2024? I'm so glad you asked me this Oh shit, I dropped my wallet. I dropped my wallet. I dropped my wallet. Please guys, please stop doing this right here. Guys, stop doing this right here. Come on guys, you know we couldn't dive into 2024 without talking about everyone's favorite horsey shoe of the year. No, no, not that one. I'm talking about the Margiela Tabbies. This one's a kind of interesting one because, okay, initially, right, the first reaction I had when I saw these bitches, right, was kind of like, what the fuck are those? But honestly, after seeing some really fun and sleek ways, everyone be kind of styling these bitches, right? Now my actual thoughts are more like, what the fuck are those? But you know, I genuinely love how such an artistic niche type of shoe became such an exclusive cornerstone of high tier fashion. Like this type of shoe has kind of become like the, if you know, you know type shit, you know, for like a certain kind of sect in the fashion space and it's dude what the f the tabbies actually have their roots dating back from 15th century japan where the elites used to wear split toe socks with their sandals holding a strong presence in japanese culture to which later in the 1980s when martin margella traveled to japan took inspiration from this design to create his own version to be honest i actually really fuck with the tabbies like i love these type of shoes but more so on women than I do kind of like the way it's been, it kind of gets styled on men. And you know, why are we speaking on the topic of women's fashion, right? Just for the 3% of viewers watching right now, come on, I gotta give you guys something, right? A trend I've noticed really popping off in women's fashion for 2024, right? Has to be ballet flats, right? These type of shits, like, come on. And you know, honestly, I fuck with these. This was a trend that girlies just ate up in 2024. And it kind of makes sense, right? Because if you notice, Women's fashion has been trending more and more towards like a more timeless, understated, chic kind of style since like 2023. In fact, you know, I think fashion overall is kind of moving to celebrate more kind of understated, streamlined type of designs, right? Like it feels like everyone these days is kind of wearing... Another Margiela piece that saw a meteoric rise in popularity for 2024, the Margiela Gats. Quick side note, by the way, guys, Gats stands for German Army Trainer. I mean, come on. Guys, I'll just be out here educating guys. You, you didn't have to thank me for that one. You did not have to thank me for that one. These shoes saw a strong return for this year, following the ongoing influence of like the Adidas Sambas and just the new love people have for more simpler, understated type of designs. If you love the Sambas, but you're just a little mad at how accessible these bitches are, like you kind of want to differentiate yourself, right? These are where the gats came in, man. Like these are the type of shit these filthy peasants couldn't get their hands on, right? So if that's your type of shit, right? You love that exclusivity type shit. It's just an ordinary crabby. And quick tip guys, if you're just kind of tired of people wearing the same shit as you, right? You don't have to go this whole elitist route or like expensive type route, like, you know, going for the Margiela Gats. Another way you can make sure these plebeians don't wear the same shit as you is just to be more unhinged with your fashion, you know? Like, can you imagine if people just started going out in public wearing their... I can't believe this is actually a fucking thing, bro. Oh my God. So there's been a weird popularization of wearing suits with underwear, boxer briefs. Like this trend of wearing underwear so outwardly and boldly is crazy to me because it just shows how designers are constantly pushing the boundaries of societal norms with clothing. But at least with this, I can tell you guys now this will be a short lived trend. So I really don't think this type of shit will age well. With all the trends that are kind of coming about these days, right? I wanna make sure you guys actually sit down, analyze trends and think about Firstly, how they suit you. And just think about the longevity you actually finna get out of these trends. I get it, you know, some things are fun to dabble in and just for like the sake of it, right? Just mixing shit up. But I wanna make sure you guys are kind of trying this shit more so out of your natural taste and curiosity and not out of falling for the hype, you know? You don't wanna keep constantly making poor choices, building weak, unattractive outfits that don't even align with your personal style. I know. You might actually be at a point where you don't even know how to find your unique personal style at this moment. I know it's so difficult with no real guidance and access to the right type of knowledge and resources to even understand how to finally start building like an attractive, powerful sense of style. With some real focused work together using the experience and the systems I have in place with my other clients, it's so straightforward to take you from feeling so insignificant and constantly being looked over to finally having a presence and magnetizing style and social media that attracts girls 
gives you respect and even helps build authority for your business if that's something you're into. A cohesive sense of style paired with an attractive aesthetic social media profile can bring so much into your life. If you're wanting to take that next step to really achieving this, you can book a call with me, the link in the description. Now, I don't want to waste your time because, you know, we all been heard about George for the last six months, man. This ain't anything new. In fact, I'm actually wearing a pair right now. Yeah, come on, guys. What I will mean when I put this as a trend for 2024, because I'm not talking about those regular jorts. What I've been seeing happening in 2024, we've been having some crazy, ridiculous type jorts. Like, motherfuckers be wearing three-quarter pants at this moment. Motherfuckers be looking like they're wearing skirts at this moment. Motherfuckers be looking like they're wearing jeans at this moment. You know, like always, fashion motherfuckers love to keep outdoing each other, right? And it was just eventual that jorts would start to grow and grow and grow as everyone tried to kind of one-up each other. It's a cold, cold word out there in fashion. You want to make sure you do not get left behind. I mean, shit, I can't lie. The whole death of sneakers, this is a nice title to farm some clicks and views from. So I get why people are doing it. Like, I understand, you know. But what I'm kind of triggered about is just how misleading a lot of this content is because they always seem to forget about one key factor when we speak about the whole death of sneakers in 2024. Because it's not that sneakers are dying or sneaker culture is dying. It's just normalizing. I really believe we're just normalizing back to a baseline from the feverish high that came out thanks to the pandemic. I mean, Nike were timely capitalizing on the Jordan 1 and Jordan 4 mania during that period and the novelty and hype of Travis Scott with all his collabs back then were just pushing the sales and the desire and hype for these sneakers as well. We were literally in a situation where Dior cashed in on this hype too. As I was putting this list together I really started like it really started to hit me a lot of the trends in 2024 are more or less just carrying over from 2023 in some respect. I mean, if we look at the love for Gats, right, that's just kind of taken on from the Sambas, right? And then we look at the super monster jorts, that's just coming on and getting even crazier from last year, right? Another phenomenon, phenomenon, yeah, yeah, I said that right. Another phenomenon we've come into in 2024 has to be the celebration of football core in high fashion and sneaker culture. Thanks to the mainstream mania and love for football that we saw with Blowcore last year, designers have just really gotten that reassurance to go all in and really build more interesting inspired football kits, soccer shoes, and really just have fun with their collections now. No, it's actually crazy because I really think ever since Virgil started really like exploring and playing around with like jerseys and you know sportswear and his type of high fashion collections, we're just seeing the whole industry really shift and start glazing that type of shit now. Okay, so I'm just gonna speed through and mention the trends that I either didn't think were like super big enough to include or maybe they were hella big, I just couldn't be fucked adding them in and editing this bitch, right? So I'm gonna just bring them here in the honorable mentions, right? I've got my list right here, guys. Let's see, we've got the Kill Bills. These were tough. I really fuck with these shoes. I really love these shoes because I just love how easy it is to add like a pop of color to your outfits, right? And then next we got Micro Shorts, which is like a girly fashion. Come on, I gotta look out for that 3% out there, guys. I gotta look out for them. So the Micro Shorts, I definitely love this. I do think it is it is gonna like cycle out quite quickly. I think this one is not gonna be a trend that stays very long. Then next we've got retro runners, you know, shit like the ASICs, like the Nike P6000, is that what I wrote on there? Your New Balance 530s, like that type of shit, like the retro sneakers, still going hard this year, right? Then we also have metallic accents. I've kind of noticed guys, there's been like a lot more metal being used or like metallic kind of colors being used in like, you know, fashion 2024. Maybe more so in girly fashion, because Men's fashion isn't as experimental, I tend to find. Although I feel like we are still getting to that point lately, like it's been a bit more acceptable now, right? People are willing to kind of dabble. Some people are willing to kind of dabble in like that kind of space with men's fashion, right? But I guess that's gonna be the video, guys. I don't wanna hold you guys too long. All I will say is 10,000 subscribers, guys. I am so gas. That's amazing just to see the community growing. Um, for the guys still here, I know you guys, I, you guys, you know, you guys are the real ones, right? The ones who are still watching the video by now. I will say I did delete the Discord. Like I've been seeing some comments asking me what happened. And yeah, I just decided to delete guys. I'm sort of moving on to kind of focus on like a few different things and, you know, just take my personal brand like a different way. But that's all I'm finna say, guys. I don't talk too much because the retention be going down. So I'll see you guys next week.